Assalamualaikum friends. Today we will discuss the summary of the book titled as The Success Principles. It has been authored by Jack and Field. It is a very famous book. This book has 64 principles in this book. इस किताब की समरी हम चार इसम बयान करेंगे कि कोई काफी लंबी इसकी समरी है लेकिन आप इस किताब की जब समरी सुनेंगे तो आपको ये आइडिया होगा कि जो सक्सेस है वो एक पूरी साइंस है और वो सर्टेन रूल्स को फॉलो करती है लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस बुक आल्सो कंटेन्स ए कोटेशन बाय ब्रायन टरेसी व्हिच सेज दैट लाइफ इज लाइक अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लॉक योर जॉब इज टू फाइंड द राइट नंबर्स इन द राइट देयर ऑर्डर सो यू कैन हैव एनीथिंग यू कैन वांट इफ वी डिड ऑल द थिंग्स वी आर कैपेबल ऑफ डूइंग वी वुड लिटरली अस्टाउंड आवरसेल्व्स इफ अ मैन फॉर व्हाटएवर रीजन हैज द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लीड एन एक्स्ट्र॑र्डिनरी लाइफ ही हैज नो राइट टू कीप इट टू हिमसेल्फ द वेरी सीक्रेट मस्ट बी मेड public these principles didn't only work for author but they have also helped thousands of students achieve breakthrough success in their career greater wealth greater aliveness greater joy in the relationship greater happiness and fulfillment in their lives these principles will work if you put them to work for you all you have to do is decide what it is you want believe you deserve it and practice the principles explained here and after the fundamentals are the same for all people all professions and all goals you can't hire someone else to do push up for yourself be a solution not a problem make use of whatever is available don't wait for better time and better circumstances use your r and i resourcefulness and initiative knowing these principles is not enough you have to practice them true learning only occurs when you assimilate and apply the new information a good reading material may make you frustrated at not knowing about all of this earlier let yourself free from all regrets just celebrate your new awareness never quit learn the fundamentals of success and stick to them now coming to principle number 1 this is principle number 1 out of 64 principles so it says that you should take 100% responsibility for your life you can't change the circumstances the reason the seasons are the wind but you can't uh, but you can change yourself there is only one person responsible for the quality of life you live and that is you give up all your excuses event plus response is equal to outcome so if there is an event and you change your response the outcome will be changed events can't be and should not be held responsible for outcomes it is not the external condition and circumstances that stop you it is you stop blaming others come out of your conditioned responses if they are not giving the desired outcome your responses to the events matter more as far as outcomes are concerned change your responses change your outcomes you have control over three things in your life one is your thoughts images in your mind and the actions you take so give up complaining we complain about the things you, we can change we have two choices either to accept it or change it by running the risks nothing just happens to you you get alerts before the very happening analyze your results outcomes they never tell a lie be ruthlessly honest to yourself now coming to principle number 2 be clear why why you are here identify the purpose of your life to be on purpose means you are doing what you love to do decide upon your major different purpose in life and then organize all your activities around it if you find your purpose you are lucky because you will be on auto how will you come to know that you are in the right right profession are you doing are you willing to do it for free 
do you get bored or tired while doing all that? Your inner guidance system is your joy while doing that thing. Figure out what you love to do as young as you can and then organize your life around figuring out how to make a living at it. Stay on your purpose once, once it is well drafted. Remember that your talent is unique, your skills are unique and this is your purpose. Now coming to principle number three. Decide what you want. Define what success means to you. Define your desires in clear and compelling details. As we grow up, we learn how to com compromise on our desires. Start by honoring our preferences in every situation, no matter how small it is. Stop settling for less than you want. You deserve to have everything in your life exactly the way you want it. Exercise. Make a list of 30 things you want to do, 30 things you want to have, and 30 things you want to be before your death. It is possible to make a living doing what you love. Clarify your vision of ideal life. Your vision of ideal life needs to include the following seven areas, work and career, finances, recreation and free time, health and fitness, relationships, personal goals, contribution to the larger community. Once you are clear about what you want and keep your mind constantly focused on it, the how part will keep showing up some uh, sometime just when you need it. We find the answers of most of the questions when we confront those questions in our life. We, we are not required to have the answers of every question ready. The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we, we will miss it, but that it is too low and we raise it. A quotation by Michelangelo. Dream high. Big dreams attract big people. It doesn't take any more energy to create a big dream than it does to create a little one. One of major differences between high achievers and rest of the world is that high achievers simply dream bigger. Don't limit your choices only to what seems possible or reasonable. Don't compromise in the name of reason and possibility. Don't let anyone take you out of your vision. Coming to principle number four, believe it is possible. You get what you expect. Hold positive expectations. Whatever your dream is, look at yourself in the mirror and declare that you are indeed going to achieve it, no matter with what is the price of it. Principle number five, believe in yourself. You are neither an accident nor a commercial product. You are deliberately planned, specifically gifted and lovingly positioned and art by the master craftsman. Believing in yourself is an attitude you develop over time. You may not be that much intelligent, talented, or skilled, but you must believe that you can do anything you want. I'm looking for men who have an infinite capacity to not know what can't be done. You have to give up the phrases, I can't, and I all of its cousins, such as would that I wish if, your brain is designed to solve any problem and reach any goal that you give it. The words you think and say actually affect your body. Don't waste your life believing you can't. Don't assume you need a college degree. Belief in yourself is more important than knowledge, training, or schooling. You have to believe in yourself with when no one else does. Most of the time, nobody is thinking about you at all. If they are thinking about you at all, they are wondering what you are thinking about them. Principle number six, become an inverse paranoid. Operate as if everyone is part of a plot to enhance your well-being. See every difficult or challenging event as if it is meant to enrich you, empower you, and advance your causes. Expect the world to support you and bring you opportunity. When life hands you a lemon, squeeze it and make a lemonoid. Look for the opportunity in every situation. Approach every encounter as an opportunity. 
always believe that the Almighty has something better in store for you. Principle number seven, unleash the power of goal setting. If you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates to your energy and inspires your hope. Your brain is a goal-seeking organism. Whatever goal you give to your subconscious mind, it will work and work day and night to achieve it. For a goal to stimulate the power of subconscious mind, it must meet two criteria, how much and by when. So you need to be specific. Be as specific as possible with all aspects of your goal. Big goals produce big results. Write your goals in details. You need goals that stretch you. Create a breakthrough goal that changes your life besides some other goals. Reread re re your goals three times a day. Write each your goal on an index card. Have the pack of index cards each having a goal written they are on next to your bed. Create a goal book and review it daily. Carry your most important goal in your wallet. One goal is not enough. Have more than 100 goals in your goal book. Write yourself a check. Three obstacles to your success are considerations, fears and roadblocks. Don't take these obstacles as stop signs. Simply learn to deal with them. These obstacles stretch your potential in order to enable you to catch the goal. Welcome these obstacles and deal with them. The advantage of setting a big goal is that in the process of achieving it, you become someone worth becoming. Setting bigger goals makes a perfect recipe of personal development which can't be taken away. To achieve a bigger goal, you develop new skills, new attitudes, and new capabilities. In the very process, you stretch yourself and in doing so, you are stretched forever. You can lose material things, but not your mastery. Make a list of goals you want to accomplish along with their deadline. Do something each day that moves you towards those goals. Principle number eight, break your bigger goals into smaller tasks. It is always okay not to know how to do something. Use my mind mapping to chunk your goals down. Incorporate your action items into your daily to-do list. To-do list that lead to your goal. Identify the difficult tasks necessary to achieve the goal and get them done in the beginning. Plan your day the night before. Principle number nine. Success leaves clue. Take help from those who have already accomplished in relevant goals. You may take help from internet books and other sources. Comforts are the product of discomforts. In order to be comfortable, you would have to be uncomfortable. Principle number 10. Release the brakes. Remove all the negative images about yourself. Inaccurate beliefs about reality, guilt, and self-doubts. Replace your self-limiting beliefs. Everything you want is just outside your comfort zone. Comfort zone is a prison. Get out of it. You can get out of it by affirmations, positive self-talk, by creating a better self-image, and by changing your behavior. Focus on thinking, talking, and writing about the reality you want to create. Flood your mind with thoughts and images of this new reality. Our self-image is like a thermostat for us. It stops us from thinking about its level. Every person has a financial thermostat in his mind. Sa same thermostat theory is valid for eating in a restaurant, staying in a hotel, living in houses, and associating with people. Change your behavior and stretch your comfort zone. Change your self-talk with affirmations. The nine guide, guidelines for creating effective affirmations. Start with the words I, I am. Use the present tense. State it in the positive affirm that you want. Your mind thinks in the form of pictures. Keep it brief. Make it specific. Include an action word ending with ing. 
include emotionalized world, make affirmations for yourself, not for others, add or somewhere better. A simple way to create affirmations, visualize what you would like to create, hear the sounds you would be hearing if you have already achieved your vision, feel the feelings you want to feel when you have created what you want, how to use affirmation and visualizations. Review your affirmations three times a day. Read every affirmation aloud. Visualize it from your eyes and mind. Hear the success sounds. Feel the feelings of success. Post three by five cards. Having your affirmations. Hang picture of the thing you want to have. Repeat your affirmations often. Now coming to principle number 11. Have a vivid picture of your goal in your mind. What are the benefits of visualization? It activates creative power of subconscious mind. It highlights the available resources. It attracts relevant additional resources and opportunities. Your subconscious mind seems no difference between visualizing something and actually doing it. Your brain's reticular activating system Filter the millions of information and give you these signals relevant to your goals. <laughs> Add sounds, smells, taste and feeling to the picture of your goals. Emotionalize the picture of your goals. It is okay if you don't see anything while visualizing. You may use printed pictures to help you. Set aside time every day to visualize one of your goals as already complete. Some psychologists claim that one hour of, of visualization is worth seven hours of physical effort. Now coming to principle number 12, believe and act as if it, it were impossible to fail. Act as if you are already where you want to be. Think, talk, dress and feel as if you have materialized your dream. Universe will respond to you accordingly. Acting that way sends powerful commands to your subconscious mind to find creative ways to achieve your goals. You achieve what you rehearse again and again physically or mentally. Your RAS starts noticing anything that will help you succeed. Acting as if you have achieved your dream will attract persons and resources that will help you achieve it in real life. Start acting now. Celebrate, come as, a, as a, you will be after five years' parties. These parties give powerful blueprints to your subconscious mind who will create positive, powerful solutions by attracting the right people and right resources. Coming to principle number 13, take action. Things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who are self. Your thinking, knowledge, or beliefs have impact on your life only when you act according to them. The universe rewards action. Many of us waste our time in analyzing, planning, and organizing too much. You begin to learn things from your experience that can't be learned from listening to others or from reading books. You begin to get feedback about how to do it better, more efficiently, and more quickly when you are in action. Think that once seemed confusing, began to come clear, things at once appear difficult, began to become begin to become faster and easier. Winners take action, losers keep on thinking, analyzing and organizing. Just get up and do what has to be done. Once you have developed a plan, start taking action. Get into motion, it doesn't matter if you don't start perfectly. Start learning from your mistakes, make the necessary corrections and keep taking action until you get the desired results or better results. To be successful, you have to do what successful people do and successful people are highly action-oriented. Nothing happens until you take action. If your ship doesn't come in, swim out to meet it. How do you do anything? is how do you do everything? 
what is excellence for others may be a habit for the person but it's time to stop holding yourself back and just go for the gold if he can do it why not i just say to yourself i am not a quitter the harder it is the easier it is for me the successful persons want to get started they want the games to begin they don't waste their time in unnecessary planning and preparation there is rarely a perfect time to do anything you just need to get started get ready aim and then fire that's it quit waiting for the perfect time to begin quit waiting for perfection inspiration change right person a clear set of instruction just get started do it now so seeds first then visualize trees and fruit don't be afraid to fail rather be willing to fail failure is a great teacher if you learn from failure and make necessary modifications it is failing forward just welcome your failures now coming to principle number 14 just lean into it you can't cross a sea by merely starting by merely staring into the water make yourself open to opportunities be willing to start without seeing the whole path just take first step sometimes you don't even need to have a clear dream if roadblocks are put in your path either jump over it or take it detour keep moving always believe that you can support yourself doing what you love to do principle number 15 experience your fear and take action in anyway. it fear is natural confronted problem is created when you stop taking action because of fear fear is not that much bad it is bad only when it stops you from taking necessary action to pursue your goal be willing to feel the fear fear stands for false evidence appearing real make a list of things you are afraid to do state reasons of your failure how to get rid of fears replace the scary image with its positive opposite replace the physical sensation fear brings scale down the risk take chance and be great instead of being safe and good jump off the cliffs and build your wings on the way down those who dare to fail succeed follow high intention low attachment principle you may find something better than what you desired bigger opportunities come your way spontaneously and and silently just keep your eyes and mind open stay aware keep yourself positive in most of the cases opportunities are in unpleasant coverings principle number 16 be willing to pay the price pain is temporary achievement pain is temporary achievements are permanent practice is key to the mastery of any skill when you are not practicing someone somewhere is there are no shortcuts it is not the will to win that matters it is the will to prepare for win that matters if i miss a day of practice i know it if i miss two days my manager knows it if i miss three days my audience knows it there is nothing better than eventually achieving success on your own terms turn your hobby into your career wants to build your momentum the job is done in the beginning of your career you may have to work hard and turn for every meager consideration but once you but once your credibility is established you reap the benefits for the rest of life effortlessly it is because price is paid in the beginning start starting to learn any new skill will make you subject to going through the awkward stage first make sure that your goal is worth the cost you are going to pay so this is uh, end of uh, today's video but uh, the summary of uh, 
this lecture is continued. It comprises around four parts. This was the first part. And I have uh, detailed, I have given the detail of uh, 16 principles out of 64 principles. This book, The Success Principles, uh, comprises 64 principles. So, just like you have seen, I have not given any point of view. Because it is a lot of time taking. है. So, I have read it for you once again. ये वो प्रिंसिपल्स हैं जो कि आपको बहुत सपोर्ट करेंगे और आपको जिंदगी में हौसला देंगे और कामयाबी के اصول आप सीखेंगे जो यकीनन आपको जिंदगी के तमाम एरियाज में कामयाबी की तरफ ले जाएंगे टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़